You're watching the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Hamid Shaba. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamid Al Khalifa received today the, on the outgoing Malaysian Ambassador to Bahrain, Ahmed Shahizan Abdul Samad. His Royal Highness praised the Ambassador's efforts in boosting and developing bilateral ties, wishing him success in his future duties. He noted his keenness on enhancing Bahraini Malaysian relations in all fields, highlighting the importance of Malaysia and its developmental experience. The Ambassador thanked His Royal Highness for his support in facilitating his tasks, affirming his country's keenness in enhancing in cooperation with Bahrain. The National Guard Commander, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, also met with Pakistani Prime Minister Mohammed Nawaz Sharif and conveyed to him the greetings of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, as well as his best wishes of more progress and prosperity to the Pakistani people. Both sides discussed historic relations between the two friendly countries and Pakistan's key role to ensure regional stability. They also reviewed bilateral trade and military relations and ways of bolstering them. The National Guard Commander hailed Pakistan's support to the GCC countries in their efforts to maintain their security and stability and to confront foreign interference in their internal affairs. The National Guard Commander, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, who is currently visiting Pakistan, met with the Speaker of the National Assembly of Pakistan, Sardar Ayaz Sadiq, at his office in Islamabad. Sardar Ayaz welcomed the visit of His Highness, commending the deep-rooted relations and the friendship between the two countries. He affirmed Pakistan's keenness to reinforce these relations for the benefit of both nations. They exchanged views and opinions regarding the bilateral relations as well as means of developing them, particularly in political and parliamentary fields. On this occasion, the National Guard Commander expressed thanks and appreciation to the Speaker of the National Assembly of Pakistan and praised the bilateral parliamentary cooperation between the two friendly nations. He said it reflects the strength of the Bahraini-Pakistani cooperation to include parliamentary coordination in international events. The meeting was attended by Bahrain's ambassador to Pakistan, Mohammed Ibrahim Mohammed. The National Guard President, His Highness Lieutenant General Sheikh Mohammed bin Isa Al Khalifa, met Pakistani Army Commander Lieutenant General Qamar Javed Bajwa in the Pakistani Army Headquarters in Rawalpindi. The Pakistani Commander welcomed His Highness, praising the level of close friendship and cooperation ties in the interests of both countries and people. His Highness expressed gratitude and appreciation to the Pakistani Army Commander for his keenness and diligence on the cooperation, affirming Bahrain's aspiration to boost this cooperation to achieve the shared interests. He also praised the advancement of the Pakistani Army forces in all fields, wishing the Islamic Republic of Pakistan further progress and prosperity. Existing military cooperation between Bahrain and Pakistan in various fields were discussed during the meeting. Speaker of the Representative Council Ahmed bin Ibrahim al mullah chaired today the weekly meeting. The meeting approved issuing statements denouncing the armed terrorist attack on Jao Prison, which resulted in the death of a police officer and the escape of a number of inmates. The statement also requested the Ministry of Interior to take the necessary precautions to avoid the escape of prisoners. The Council also approved issuing another statement denouncing the act of several businessmen and merchants in Bahrain who attempted commercial and social normalization with Israeli Zionists. The Council also approved a proposal to find a solution for the crisis of 40 Bahraini employees who have not received their wages for four months. It also approved another proposal allocating Bilaj Jazar to the Southern Government Municipality to be a public beach for citizens and residents. Speaker of Representative Council Ahmed bin Ibrahim al Mullah inaugurated today Bahrain Center for Parliamentary Training and the General Secretariat of the Representative Council. Present were the Secretary General Abdullah bin Khalif al Dosari and the Assistant Secretary General Yasser al Shirawi. Speaker of Representative Council delivered a speech in which he stated that inaugurating the center is a significant development for the Council in general and for the parliamentary and legislative action in particular. Al Mullah said that the center will offer training workshops for citizens who are interested in parliamentary and legislative work. It will also introduce the first course on His Majesty the King's Reform Project, which will highlight the achievements of the Democratic March at political, economic, legislative and legal levels. The aim of establishing the center is to develop and train administrative staff at the General Secretariat and to enhance the employees' experience. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,211.13 points, marking a decrease of 8.69 points below last closing. The decrease was in the commercial banks, investments, and services sectors, and investors traded mainly the commercial banks with 91.70% of total shares. 
58 transactions included 3,765,675 shares worth 354,592 Bahraini dinars. Gulf Air has recently launched a Bahrain travel guide in Athens titled 101 Things to See and Do in Bahrain in coordination with Arab World Tours, a move to promote the kingdom globally. The guide will benefit first-time visitors as well as recurring travelers with activities, suggestions and places to visit in Bahrain. Gulf Air's business strategy focuses on strengthening the airline's position as one of the Middle East's largest network carriers while serving key global destinations that provide strong business and tourism links to the Kingdom of Bahrain and the region. Its network currently serves 41 cities in 24 countries spanning three continents.